So now they're qualifying for next year, but they're also qualifying for the baddest antique shootout that'll take place at Freedom Hall November 17th and 18th. On the track later tonight, here comes Austin Roberts. That's just an angry sounding Oliver there, ain't it? I don't know about all that angry, he's just hungry. That's it, that's it. to slant down and get the hook advantage. It's still designed for plowing, but right now, it's dragging the sled down the way. The 806 is rocking and rolling now. International fans, your chance to go against the Oliver. 294.66. Let's see if he can get it done. Down there soon. 267.30. Give Mike Craig a round of applause. He's from Cavalry, Kentucky fans. All right, here we go with the 1030K. Folks, check this beautiful Comfort King out. We're talking restored muscle tractors. He can run up to eight miles an hour. He ain't going over four right now with this ride. Taking his time going down the way, folks. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the view. Let's see if the case can catch the Oliver. The Oliver up there at 294.66. Got the stock muscle on it. Now it's starting to hit him pretty hard, but the case now is starting to touch the smoke. He's got the load on it, just like he's in a field. Can he keep rolling with it? He's past 250. Can he get to 260? No. 258.09. Give him a round of applause, fans. 258.09. That's the local boy, Travis Craig. He's just easing along at a steady 4.4 miles an hour, like the tractor before him, just easing on up through there. The torque will kick in a minute to get tight. He's still thinking, like I just saw that earlier, the cooler the temperature gets, the tighter the track will get a little tight here. Finishes off at 267.25 feet. 267.25. Folks, don't forget, we do have the beer booth open at the lower end of the grandstands, close to the midway. Cattlemen's Association is open, selling their sandwiches, french fries, hot dogs, chips, drinks, you name it, they might have it. Mark Jones taking a little more aggressive pull toward than his brother did. He's coming to the opposite side. He's going to see what kind of grip bike we have over here closest to us. Just a lot of the tractors might have been going down the left side closer to the horse track. We'll try a little something different on this pull.
and there he is, folks, 265.79 feet. 265.79. Beth is ready to go. Folks, this is Addison. Addison Jones going down once again. Her dad's Curtis is walking right up the track beside her and kind of guiding her on, giving her some tips. She's getting started early at 10 years old, starting her tractor pulling career. Y'all give her a big hand. She can't hear you, but give her a hand anyway. Make sure you do when she stops. That way she'll be sure to hear you. I'm going to go out on a limb and say she will be the youngest tractor puller we have here tonight. They will drive the riding llama, much less a tractor pulling in a series like this. She's still big and good after, too. Keep going, young lady. Guess what? She just beat her daddy. Page 66.05. She just beat her aunt and dad by a good half inch to an inch. But they kept it right there real close. But she beat those anyway. Oh, he forgot about the horn. I need a sign-up sheet so I can call these drivers up. 